In the summer of 1930, a series of newspaper articles appeared describing the most sensational discovery of a race of gigantic beings, unearthed from two burial mounds in Dodger County in West Virginia. If you are curious to know more about this, then hit that subscribe button and dive with me into this video. Two prehistoric Indian mounds were found on Benjamin Zahan's farm in Mogensville, 12 miles west of Saleh. Professor Ernest Sutton of Saleh University conducted excavations. According to the June 15, 1930, Clarksburg Daily Exponent article titled Two Prehistoric Indian Mounds Found Near Mogensville. The article claims that a mysterious race was found buried in the mounds believed to be composed of individuals ranging from 7 to 9 feet tall. Another article in the Charleston Gazette on June 15, 1930, titled Salim Professor Discovers Huge Skeleton in Mounds, confirms the discovery of giant skeletons. According to the article, the skeletons provide evidence of a race of giants who lived in West Virginia over 1,000 years ago. The article mentions four burials from two mounds, ranging from 7 to 9 feet tall, including a 7.5 foot tall burial sealed in clay. The authors conducted an investigation in spring 2015 regarding ancient discoveries, particularly artifacts from the Zahan Farm mounds. The press articles mention that Sutton sent the artifacts to the Smithsonian Institution. The acquisitions record of the Smithsonian confirmed the donation of three artifacts from the Zahn Maxwell Mount by Ernest Sutton and Oris Stutler on July 9, 1930, including a stemmed point, slate gorget, and a sandstone disc with engraved lines. Ernest Sutton's report doesn't include measurements of skeletons, but there's evidence from press articles and Sutton's report that suggests the claim of giant skeletons were accurate. Ernest Sutton may have omitted the skeletal measurement from his report due to the policy of secrecy enacted by the Smithsonian under Alice Harnika regarding giant skeletons. Sutton, who was an amateur archaeologist working outside the establishment, may have been unaware of this policy when he first went public with his discoveries in June 1930. He only published his official report 29 years later, in 1958, and many have deliberately avoided mentioning the size of the skeletons due to the policy of secrecy. Sutton's subsequent work provides evidence of the enforcement of the stigma against reporting giant remains. During his excavation of the Johnson Thompson Mount in Athens County, Several issues prevented the official report from being published until 1966. But let us know in the comments that what do you think about this. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to our channel. We'll be back soon with more interesting stories and information. Until then, goodbye.